Welcome to the Goham Show. I'm DJ Goham, and tonight we are watching Lil Yachty. Oink, oink, pee, pee, do away with the pork. Now, Lil Yachty has been around since 2016, and he was very iconic with his red hair, and he had a song called Minnesota. Now, I thought that show. I mean, that song was super ill. But ever since like 2016, 17, I really haven't heard anything from Yachty. I know that he's got placement deals with Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers and whatnot. And that's great. He is doing a lot for himself. It's just nothing that I can see. And this is the first, you know, project that I've seen him do in a long time with a big video behind it. And I guess I decided to give it a watch. And I know it's very mainstream because he got Da Baby and Drake on it. So now, instead of looking at underground rappers, we're going to the mainstream rappers. And it's weird to say that, yeah, that these niggas is mainstream now. And it's to go from just doing what I normally do to do mainstream stuff is just it's awkward. It's just I I I feel like like I feel like everybody else now is strange. Anyway, before we get started, we're gonna take a dank hit because I've been looking forward to these all morning. However, my supply is actually getting low, so I might have to go out and buy me some more. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> that was a smooth hit. All right, pull it up. <coughs> I always say it's a smooth hit, and then later it's like a like a after reaction. <laughs> yep, it's Lil Yachty in a dress. Already, like, I can see Twitter and a lot of YouTubers going nuts on this dude because, yeah, when black people wear dresses, it's seen as a sellout. Or they're seen as sellouts mainly because, like, you know, what's his name? Uh, Eddie Murphy has, you know, his projects in Hollywood were well known for him dressing up in a dress. And he kind of sold out his whole career when he did Norbit. And after that, he's never gotten any work. But people love seeing him in a dress, and that's the only work that they will do with him now is movies like Norbit or Nutty Professor. So what you end up doing is you end up pigeonholing yourself as the actor that dresses up as the girl. So I hope he doesn't pigeonhole himself as the rapper that dresses up as a girl. But there's tons of those now. So, I mean, Uzi has done it in the past. I never gave a shit, but apparently he has. So let's let's be fair. I ain't mad at him, baby. If I sent you out, me to a beer, boy, you crazy Diamond and a rough, you look as good as Oprah's bank account I just wanna take you out, fuck you in your mama house Overseas, I fly you out See, now the excuse about, like, he can actually say And what makes this track actually dope is that, yeah, he's talking about Oprah's bank account you're dressed up as the richest black woman in the world. You're not dressed up as any type of woman. No, you're dressed up as the richest black woman in the world. And every woman in that audience would probably eat your cooch if you told them to. And then tell them that you get a car every single time they would get finished. Tricking, do she really love me? Let's just find it out. Baby, what's up with your mouth? Say the girl straight from the south. Back home, I know Prezi. I'm Obama. Hey, I condone the drama. Hey. Okay, everybody loves seeing Drake. Look at that beard. Look at that majestic beard. That's like, ever since he got his beard, everybody has t talked about like, man, that nigga acting like he is the shit. But in Toronto, like he just said, I feel like I'm Obama. Like, he probably got motherfucking police and shit driving around him every time he go home. Do you need pajamas? Yeah. Stay in the night, girl, you promised it. I hide in the cave like Osama did. I'm throwing a bag in the diamond district. You need me like dollars that are owed to you. And like as he's like talking, I like how they give the reaction of the crowd. I, I I hate shows like this, the Wendy Williams show, The View. I feel like all the reactions from the crowd is because they hold up a big ass sign that says "clap," sigh, uh, uh, swoon. Like they just have signs that just tell these girls how to feel, but they do exactly that, and I think that's. Crooked, but you know what? That's television. Yeah. Run me your body, I put a range on the road for you. I don't know what you were told, but I ain't mad Woo! at you, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this song actually got a lot of uh like little little parts where they just slow down. If it starts going a little too slow, I might jump ahead, but I'll listen to what they got to say for right now. So 
old Drake tell us? At 33 years old, you just now pissed your ear. That's true. So, uh, why and how has it affected your life? I, uh, I literally, I look at pictures of myself with my beard and I absolutely kind of shudder. You know, it's like, uh... <coughs> That's kind of how I feel about my dreads. I'm not going to lie. Like, about, like, six years, I didn't have these. And whenever I look at myself now, my younger self, I'm just like, ugh. After how I went through life uh, really functioning like that. And I think, uh, you know, that was a big change for me. And, um, the ears were just the next step. I mean... You know, you talk about the greats, you talk about, uh, you talk about Rick Fox, you talk about Shamar Moore. It's really just about uh, just reaching, reaching your full, uh, you know, your, your LSC, you know? A lot of people are saying that he's acting right now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's just improvising and just like working with what he got. Yeah, he is an actor, but this nigga hasn't acted in decades. It's really about reaching your full LSC, your light skin capability. And um yeah i just feel like like this combination has just allowed me to uh arrive at the peak of the mountain you know i'm up there on the mount uh the mount mount Lightmore. so would you say that it helps with your famous instagram polls the the you know i mean it's really just okay uh, i just gotta say this uh one last thing and then we're gonna start jumping around um motherfucking drake is a motherfucking god and everybody loves drake but by this point in 2020, like, I'm actually ready to hear new artists. Not to say that I don't like Drake, but when uh, Take Care came out, that I was so young and that was so long ago that all of his projects after that is just like, yeah, they're meant for the radio, but that that's not, they, they are written by other people and they are meant to be like, you know, hits on the radio. And just like, ever since Take Care, it doesn't feel like he writes anything. And I, that's the only thing I wanted to say about Drake. Anyway, let's... Um, it's really just a natural thing that I was born with. I'm not really sure what people are referring to when they say, like, I do a thing, like, with my lips. But, um, yeah, I'm just, like, I don't know. I'm just doing what comes, like, oh, nat to me, you know? Just a generation of music. These new mm. rappers, the mumble rap. What do you think about it? I embrace it. I embrace it, you know? Um, I love, you know, all the little ditties and all the little jingles that the kids are doing, you know? <laughs> Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This should be a meme. Feels <laughs> that the kids are doing, you know, on their SoundCloud or um or uh, the other thing, the to type to type tar 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 <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Genius! I like it. Yeah, I wish they would have been on like, you know, the grapevine that everybody uses, you know, or the Talk, tick, talk. You know, I wish they would have like gave a shout out to Vaughn. I miss Vaughn. Um, yeah, no, I think it's amazing. You know, just literally uh, writing like nursery rhymes that nobody can understand. I think it's like sort of really like progressive and innovative. And um, you know, I think at the forefront of that movement of music that should be forgotten about um, is is Little Yachi. I think that guy is just. Okay, that's the main part I just wanted to get to. Yeah, he called that <laughs> he called that nigga Little Yachi. I'm not gonna lie. When I first looked at his name at first glance, I was like Little y Yachi. <laughs> oh, Yachty. That's why they call him Little Bo. That makes sense. That makes sense. Anyway, we're skipping this. Apparently, he's looking at YMZ, which is supposed to be like the TMZ, and it's talking about how Drake is on a show. Would be minuscule. <laughs> Basically, they mentioned that, like, Drake's appearance is going to overshadow everybody's appearance, whoever goes on the show, and this is what he has to deal with. Uh, Mr. Yachty, this is your two-minute warning for places. This is going viral. <laughs> There's no way he's going to top that. <laughs> I'm going to see that guy. Okay. okay. And the insecurity of being an artist who has to go on after a famous artist is just like, what the fuck? You're supposed to open for them. It's all like, man, how am I supposed to do beat that? <laughs> Break your legs, bro. If I sent you out me to a beat, boy, you crazy Diamond and a rough, you look as good as Oprah's bank account I just wanna take you out, fuck you in your mama house Overseas, I fly you out Is he tricking? Do she really love me? Let's just find it out Baby, what's up with your mouth? City girl straight from the south Is Okay, it's a smooth track 
And I like that. Yeah, he really is going all in with the uh freaking uh, Tyler Perry parody. It's like him, and then he got himself dressed up as a woman, and now they interact with each other, and that's fun. At least he's just. I think he's just trying to have fun. Like everybody's all like calling him like, "Oh, you selling yourself?" No, nah, I think homie just said, "Yo, let me dress up as the richest woman in the world, and then like play off of myself because then, then I guess it's cool. But if it was just you dressed up as a dress the whole time and showing off how fabulous you is." And I think a lot of people will start getting more suspect. That you fold me. Is they mad that you ride around and I've been sleeping? Is they mad that you not with them? Same hoes hating being my DM. Locking it down, locking it down, locking it down. I want you. I want them to know you're my baby boy. We still make it look when ain't nothing to do. Every time we step on niggas, look at you. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on at first, and then I was like, oh, it's a fire. See, like, yeah, homie just wanted to have fun, but I'm not going to lie. Th this this image right here literally does look like a chick that I know. It's, it's slightly disturbing. I ain't mad at him, baby. Nope. If I sent you at me to a beat up on you crazy. Diamond and the rough, you look as good as Oprah's back. I just want to take you look as good as Oprah's back. <laughs> when he brought everybody pizza to make up oh because they were cooking i never watch oprah i'm not gonna lie i watched the view because i worked a job before and the lady that worked with me, she loved the view oprah no i'm, I'm not an oprah person i've dated somebody that loved wendy williams when i was in college i had a friend that loved uh ellen degeneres but oprah is not a talk show i watched before i know the memes and tropes but like i've never actually watched oprah now that i think about it. that is strange no baby girl baby boy boat magazine the magazine what Chick users that baby girl baby boy that sounds sampleable wait let me just i just want to play that one last time Baby girl, baby boy, Boat Magazine, the magazine for chick users and men abusers. To all the Chanel buyers and all the shipper inquirers looking for a scammer in Hellcat with 4G auto top. See, the thing is, to compensate for all of the uh, uh, imagery that we have to embrace of seeing Yachty in a dress, at least he has a lot of fine women in his videos. Like, he really put in a lot of effort into this. His baby. It's to end now to win our sweepstakes for a visit with Dr. Fort Lauderdale. Ah! As close to Dr. Miami as we could get. Hurry up now before the next girl gets hers. My bitch pull up looking like Oprah Banks. Let's go. Take a pic with a bitch and she faints. She look like a goddess, but she... So I'm guessing that like like American Idol Oprah goes out and like they interview like her you know person I would say contestant but they're not contestants on her show. When it comes to this type of part, I've actually never noticed. But like, how do they like invite the interviewers to their homes or do they like send out an invitation? But seeing how this is supposed to be, die baby, he's the one. And yeah, everybody go nuts in the comments. I don't have anything dramatic to say about him, not yet at least. My bitch bout it bout it, she need her tank You know ain't no limit on blue honey My bitch like a big bag of money, that's new money Chill. You gon' make the bitch think that you love her Hold her hand right in front, you be too public I'll take the little nigga, bitch, he ain't do nothing yeah. Now nah, this bitch goin' pay me on pay Let's go. She want me to stay, stay And I hope that these niggas don't play, play Let's go. Your bitch looking good as Oprah Bank account I'm the type to take a nigga home Does he got like, does he got like a wig on or is that a hoodie? Anyway, I just gotta say this about uh, Da Baby Is that like, his tracks go in I'll just say that, like, when they play Suge in the club in Texas, everybody lost it, lost it, lost it. It was like, mm, mm. everybody just moved to the left, mm, mm. moved to the right, mm, 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 mm. Do -do 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 -do. girls just jumping out, freaking throwing their shirts off and shit to this man's tracks. The only thing is, though, everybody says he sounds the same on the track like every it, but that's his flow like what are you talking about he sounds the same oh it's da baby of course he's gonna say that sound the same because that's who he is it's like what you want him to sound different on the track like kid boo come on now take her out. keep the butt i take the mouth da baby da baby da baby you know would you say that your music is like its own genre. I mean, I mean, Absolutely. let me get this correct. Absolutely. I would say you uh, make a song and uh, you make another song. You make an album and it sounds like one whole song, one same song. Mm -hmm. How do you 
See what I mean? Like, I mentioned that. But I guess, like, they're trying to rephrase it in a more acceptable way that people would actually understand. <coughs> React to that. Well, see, look, Bob, it's, it's interesting that you, that you say that. See, I, I always admire people's perspective on this matter. He called him Little Boat, by the way. I think he was supposed to call him Opa, Oka, whatever the hell he called himself in this video. Because it's like you make every damn song like an ongoing song. You never got to make another song again, man. It's just, you know, and it just bands, keeps going platinum. Free bands, free bands, free bands. So, hey, I'll be triple platinum for the rest of my life. He ain't lying, though. If you do just come out with just, like, you know, a whole bunch of dope songs in the beginning, and that was just a fire-ass mixtape, and you could just live off of that album probably for a year, yeah, that's great, but, like, over time, if everybody's still listening to that album, and they're still playing it at games, they're still playing it, you know, in memes and whatnot, then, yeah, you know you did a good job because you created some evergreen motherfucking music. That is genius. Now, when you say, let's go, where are we going? But see, look, it, the thing about the let's go line, it always depends on where I'm coming from. Right. I could be going to your bitch. I wonder if that is like talking about the recent incident that he got into when he pulled up his fist. Like, well, when Yachty pulled up his fist, I'm guessing that they're talking about when he hit a woman at a club. But she was trying to get his autograph, so she approached him. So it's not like he beat her up. He was being overly defensive, and that's causing a lot of controversy on Twitter. Personally, I just think people need to respect each other's spaces and don't like getting people's faces with their camera. Period. I could be going to the bank. I may be going to the bank from your bitch's house, and then I may go back because your bitch love money. So it just it all depends on where I'm coming from. But either way it goes, it's let's go. I wonder if this is what he said to her, like, right before, like, you know, he smacked her or whatever. I didn't watch the video. I I'm not into all this shit anymore. All this little TMZ drama, it just, <coughs> it grazes me, but it doesn't go anywhere. Now, when YouTubers start talking about yo drama and they don't shut up about it, then maybe there might be something wrong. But I, everybody just said this and this is moving on. That's the good thing that he can do for his career. Have you thought of the baby's GPS where you just... Tell them, let's, let's go. That's great. You said you've always been an innovative mother. I am rich. Okay. <laughs> so one more. Ooh, just, and this is just the last okay, one. Okay. All right. Take your time. What do you think about this? God damn, this is finna be a long motherfucking video. They is talk like yeah. This video is like nine minutes. How, how am I? Am I even halfway through? Right, we got a minute left. Oh, shit, this is like the Namek saga. Like it just keeps on going and going. The baby's daycare. The baby's daycare. I'm fucking with that. I need 20%. Oh, no, no, no. Make it land, land. I ain't mad at him, baby. Let's go. If I sent you out, me to a beat. This is a good hook. I don't know if it would be on the radio, but yeah, they would have to, like, watching this video, the song is all cut up in, like, little chunks. Altogether, it probably wouldn't be that bad of a song. Let's go. Diamond and a rough, you look as good as Oprah's bank account. I just wanna take you out. Fuck you in your mama house. Overseas, I fly you out. Is he tricking? Do she really love me? Let's just find it out. Baby, what's up with your mouth? See the girl straight from the south. You get a bow, and you get a bow, and you get a bow. Who's the best? Ah, ah. Who's the best? Ah, shut up. All right, I'm tired of watching this shit, man. I never watched fucking Oprah in my entire life, but it's a good thing that he dressed up as the richest black woman in the world because everybody will be slamming your ass for wearing that dress. But at least the song was dope. And I'm not going to even lie, like, Mm, I like that baby. Like he he makes me wanna you know like dance a different kind of way. So good artist that you had on the track. I fuck with you, uh, Yachty.